I came to the Atlantic was in a very frustrating period because I knew what kind of writer I wanted to be. I was not becoming that writer. I was looking for a breakthrough and I was not finding breakthroughs at all. I was banging my head against the wall and nothing was coming out. Uh, so it was very depressing. Uh, and so in my first year here, I actually had to finish uh, my first book, uh, my only book, <laughs> and I had to um, write my first story for the Atlantic. I had to write an 8,000 word piece. Uh, for the magazine, which was absolutely, I mean, it was just hell. I, had, I was on unemployment at the time. I had been laid off, and I was under a great degree of stress. I think I gained like 30 pounds that, that, that summer. But what I'm trying to say is I think breakthroughs come from that sort of stress. When I got done that piece, when I got done that book, I was clear that these were things that I was not capable of doing before. You know, like, like the writing was very, very different. Uh, the sentences had, had much more power. Um, and I think a lot of that had to do with the stress I was under, you know? Like, I think, like, breakthroughs come from putting, in, you know, an inordinate amount of pressure on yourself and seeing what you can take and hoping that you grow some new muscles, you know? It's not really that mystical, you know? It's like, you know, repeated practice over and over and over again, and then suddenly you become something that you, you know, had no idea you, you could really be. Or you, you know, quit the field and just say, oh, I suck. I mean, that could happen, too, but hopefully you have a breakthrough, you know? I strongly believe that uh, writing is uh, an act of courage, it's almost an act of physical courage. Uh, you get up and you have this great idea, maybe you were hanging out with your friends, you know, you guys were having beers and you were talking about something and you had this idea and they said, wow, that's brilliant, someone should go write it. And you sit down to write it and almost always what was brilliant uh, before when you were sitting around talking is somehow not so brilliant when you go to write. It is as though you have a certain music in your head. And trying to get that music out on a page is just absolute hell. And so you fail. And if you're doing it correctly, what happens is the translation of what you hear in your head, what your idea is in your head onto the page will almost always come out really badly on the, on, on the page when you first write, okay? But what you have to do is you have to you know, give yourself a day, go back, revise over and over and over and over again until you get to something that is at least maybe 70% of what you wanted to do. So you try to go from really bad to okay to acceptable. And then you know you've done your job. You never really get, I never really get to that perfect thing that was in my head. So I, I always consider the entire process about failure. Um, I, I really, really do. And I think that's the main reason why more people don't write. It's very uh, depressing in that way. I was applying for uh, a, a fellowship and the best advice that I got, you know, because I was still in junior in my career, was from a guy who I did not get the fellowship to. And he told me that um, in, in the field of writing and in writing for magazines specifically, um, there are you know, a limited number of places and it's really, really hard to make a living. But if you are a young person, that you should keep going. Uh, because a young, as a young person, there are a lot of young people who want to be writers. But what happens is the older you get, uh, the path is so tough and you get beat up so much that those people eventually go to business school and they go and become lawyers. And if you find yourself uh, continuing uh, up until the age of say 35 or so into your 40s or whatever you will have a skill set because you will have worked on it for a certain period of time that other people just starting out won't and the competition will thin out and so th the basic essence of that advice I thought was perseverance uh, and, and I think that's just so key to writing uh, perseverance it's the first thing I say to any young person that wants to talk about writing mm -hmm.